Hello, I'm Valerie. Welcome to the ModPress YouTube channel. This video will cover full and wide alignment options for Gutenberg blocks. I'll show you how to set blocks to wide or full width, thereby allowing them to break out of the container element in order to span a greater width of the screen. So if you're ready, let's get down to the details and examples. With the release of WordPress 5.0, Gutenberg introduced two new content alignment options, wide and full width. You can change container alignment for both pages and posts. There are several possible uses for full or wide aligned blocks. You might need them for headers, promo sections, and other content areas that you want to highlight. You could introduce new page sections with a full width cover block that overlays text on an image background or you might leverage the feature to build a can't miss call to action area. The choice is yours. While WordPress themes are not required to support the new alignment options, it's not much work to bake them in. Fortunately, from the back end, it's very simple. Just add this tidy little snippet to the themes function PHP file. Please be sure to use a child theme as appropriate. Before we proceed to the examples, let's emphasize on the difference between these content alignment options in Gutenberg. You have more flexibility with the wide alignment option. It should be wider than the main content area, but not as wide as the full alignment. The full alignment option should span the full width of the screen. It's high time to test things out. For the first example, I've chosen a group block. The group block can have multiple other blocks nested inside it. In other words, the group block is a container block which allows to group multiple child blocks. When you first add the group block, this is what you see. Thanks to it, uh, we are also sure this theme supports alignment options. Decide the element you want to include inside the section. So, I'm going to insert three blocks. Let us take an example of a section containing a heading, an image, and a paragraph. Additionally, you have the option to change the group block's background color and the block inspector. Now that you have grouped three blocks, in the toolbar, click on the Change Alignment icon and select Full Width option. Now you're done, preview the page to view the Full Width section. If you need, choose Wide Width to create a Wide Width section instead of Full Width. As you may have noticed, changing alignment of the block is a piece of cake. By the way, one of the most useful combinations is to take the group block, include the column block into it, and add further blocks inside your columns. This way you can easily create a multi-column layout with a background color. One more example is to use cover block to create full width hero sections. This is typically suitable for header sections of the page layout. WordPress also offers predefined patterns for cover blocks that you can simply insert anyway on your site. Moreover, some default Gutenberg blocks, for example, the column block we mentioned earlier, which in its turn can also hold multiple blocks, and the gallery block support different alignment options out of the box. You don't need to put the group block first to set a full width alignment in Gutenberg, but remember, the additional alignment options will be suitable not for all blocks. For instance, you will not see these options for a block like Paragraph. All the block types that can be full or wide aligned will be listed in the description box down below. Instead of grouping blocks, you can create a full width section with a single element, for example, an image. Once you upload it and added an image into your content, you can change its alignment. 
click on the image you have added a toolbar will appear this toolbar also contains the alignment options for this image you can select the preferable alignment by clicking the alignment icon then selecting it from the drop down the image will be stretched to fit the new alignment again we see white width alignment takes the image and stretches it out but still leaves some room on the left and right to use the full width alignment click the alignment icon and select full width from the drop down full width is similar to white width except that it does not leave any room on the left and right the image is stretched to meet the end of the page on both the left and right sides full width sections are great for separating content on a page and for adding visual appeal they were initially designed to use on home pages even though they can be used on pages with sidebars the effect is not the same on pages with sidebars the full width sections will not span the full width of the browser window it will only span the full width of the main content area if you use third-party Gutenberg add-ons each can also provide its own way to deal with the alignment options. By the way, in GetWid by Motopress, you can set a preferred alignment for a section block, use it as a container for organizing child blocks inside it in a similar way to the group block. Or, for example, a banner block. With its help, you are empowered to create unique block layouts, vivid call to actions, related content suggestions, and uh, you'll be able to advertise products better in an extraordinary way. And if you're not familiar with GetWid, we recommend visiting its demo page. GetWid by Motopress contains 40 plus blocks and 35 plus templates so far, and we won't stop on this number. The variety of functions is tremendously vast and you will be able to accomplish many of them in a short period of time. With the user-friendly toolkit that GetWit provides you with, the creation of fully customized and unique websites become easy and enjoyable. No more complicated CSS code, no more huge money for site creation. You can install the plugin by searching GetWit in your dashboard or download it for free from wordpress.org. By and large, Gutenberg offers multiple ways to create full or wide width sections in WordPress. You can use a group block to combine multiple elements and create a full width layout for your site. Alternatively, use the cover or image blocks to create a single element with full or wide width. So guys, if you like this tutorial guide, then please like it, share it, and drop a comment below and let me know what you thought about it. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments section down below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.